Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, it's loaded with booze. Rum Ham is a 10% rum barrel aged imperial stout from Oddside Ales in Grand Haven, Michigan. Oddside's back at it again with another Always Sunny inspired beer. This time it's Rum Ham, the Rum Barrel Aged Imperial Stout. Now I've said multiple times in the past, while I'm not a huge rum fan, I'm willing to try and, and give any beer at least one chance. And how can you turn down a stout called Rum Ham? Now let me know if you've had any Rum Barrel Aged beers that you'd like to call uh, must-haves. But with that being all said, without further ado, let's take a look at the label. We'll get this into a glass. There's a lot to digest, a lot to uh, unpack, as it were, in this beer. So let's take a look at the label here. First off, it has the ham on the front with the two pineapples looking like eyes, the cherry in the middle looking like a nose. And we see on the top left here, we see Frank and we see Mac floating on their raft with their rum ham. Um, so yeah, it just has odd side, the three hop cones, the rum ham in the middle. And underneath that in gold, it says, or yellow, rum ham. Imperial Stout aged in rum barrels with natural flavors added. Now, I, I did a little bit of a spoiler alert. I went on Oddside's website to kind of look up the ABV of this, and they said it, it was an Imperial uh, Stout aged in rum barrels with ham. So I'm kind of looking forward to tasting a ham flavor in here, like a sweet ham flavor. And this says manufactured, I want to say that says uh, 05 26 20. I know that this was a taproom only release initially on the other side of the bottle, it says 12 fluid ounces, Michigan, 10, depo 10 cent deposit, 10% alcohol by volume, brewed and bottled by Odd Side Ales in Grand Haven, Michigan. That's it. Uh, nothing else crazy on here. I do really enjoy the label. It shows, like I said, it shows Mac and Frank kind of floating in the ocean on the raft. You see the blue sky in the background, the really nice blue water and the, and the ham floating away from them. But yeah, I, I just think that's a really cool label. I'm really kind of imaginative. I would not, you know, they've done so many other Always Sunny inspired beers. I think this one's almost perfect, a perfect one to do. What glass am I going to use today? I am going to use, I'm going to use, I guess I'm going to use this glass. This is a Tiku glass. I'm going to use a Tiku glass for this. I'm going to go ahead and pop the top. We have the Odd Side Ales cap on the top, the traditional Odd Side Ales uh, cap that they do. They, they always do this white one with the green leaves on it, or hop cones, I'm sorry, and leaves. So I get some right on both accounts a little bit. Oh, this really strong aroma starts coming, kind of coming out of the bottle as soon as I crack this. I paid, I only bought a single of this. Like I said, it was a taproom only release. I bought it at the store while it's a limited release. So it was a taproom release. It's not taproom only, but they released it initially in the taproom. I bought it off a shelf in a limited release. I paid $8 for a single. And let's put a nose on the glass here on, on, the, on the bottle. I am getting some of those stouty aromas. I'm getting a little bit of a uh, roasty malt aroma. I do smell, get a sweet aroma in there as well. I'm just, it's putting a smile on my face because when I said the, the ham part, I wasn't, I didn't know what to expect, but I do smell like a, a smoky kind of ham aroma in there too. I'm not really getting much rum on the nose, but we're going to go ahead and pour this. And it's coming out pretty dark out of the out of the bottle not super thick doesn't look super syrupy or, or super thick coming directly out of the out of the bottle I'll set that aside but as you can see from the overhead I got about a finger maybe a little bit more than a finger like a finger and a quarter worth of head uh, it's not super dark the head itself it's it's a little bit just kind of a little bit kind of tan not what I would say khaki not you know coffee colored it's not super dark but it's just kind of tan and they're really nice compact bubbles it's hanging on there it's Still about a finger. Let's go ahead and uh, hold this up to the light. And this put this was a pretty cool one. Um, it's super um, opaque. It's not transparent at all. I'm not seeing through it. There's a little bit of a caramel kind of uh, brown color to the bulb itself on the glass here. And let's put a nose on the glass. Getting more of that kind of uh, malty smell in there, getting a little bit, I am, I feel like I'm picking up a little bit of rum on the nose here, just out of the glass. But yeah, I mean, it smells like, it smells what you would expect uh, Imperial uh, rum barrel aged Imperial Stout to smell like. I'm not getting a lot of those ham, quote unquote, uh, aromas out of it now, but I'm gonna go ahead and dive right in and I'll tell you what I think. Cheers.
Wow. That's really boozy. That's really boozy. Um, it has a really boozy flavor to it, but it's not, the, you know, the rum is in there. It's on the upfront. I get a lot of rum initially off the, off the bat. It has, the mouthfeel is a little bit thicker. It's not like super th thick pouring it out of the bottle. I didn't expect it to have much of a thick um, mouthfeel to it at all because it just kind of looked a little thin coming out, but it is definitely um, a little bit heavier on the mouthfeel side. It's not super, not super syrupy, but it is kind of coating on my tongue. Let's go ahead and just talk through the flavors here. So I get a lot of that kind of it's funny because I get a lot of uh, rum flavor right off the bat. That's what I get a real, especially that first taste, I was getting a lot of that rummy kind of flavor, a lot of that sweet molasses kind of flavor in there as well. I'm getting a nice roasted malty flavor in there as I kind of talk and I talk through it. I'm also getting a nice roasty, smoky, malty flavor in there as well. So you got this chocolatey kind of dark chocolate flavor. You've got this, uh, this, this roasty malt flavor. You're also getting the rum, but the rum is just on the upfront. I get it maybe a little bit on the tail, maybe a little bit on the aftertaste, but it's not as rum for it's, it's rum forward, but it's not as rummy as I thought it would be the whole way through, especially how big of a dose of rum flavor you get on the front, but it's really kind of nuanced after that because I still pick up a little bit on the aftertaste, but it's not, it's not crazy. It's not like out of this world rummy. And I was expecting it to be really uh, have a real big rum just flavor all the way through. It has this smoky characteristic in there too. So like I said, up front, you're getting a lot of that rum flavor. Then a lot of chocolate comes through. A lot of roasted malt flavor comes through. Then the smokiness kind of sits in. And if I didn't read on, the, uh, on their website that it was, you know, ha with ham or ham added or whatever it is, I wouldn't have been able to pick that out. But I think a lot of that smoky characteristic and the sweet flavor that comes through on the tail is almost like a honey baked ham kind of flavor, like the crust on a honey baked ham. That's kind of what I'm getting on the tail. So I'm getting a bit of that sweet kind of ham flavor in there. I'm not getting any saltiness or anything like that, but it's really subtle for me. I'm not picking up on anything really overpowering in that kind of that rum department at the front. It's kind of rum heavy, but it fades away into that chocolate, into that roasty malt, into that smoky characteristic on the on the finish. But yeah, and it's just got a really nice, just kind of balanced flavor overall. Like I said, it's a sweeter, it is a sweeter stout. So if you're looking for something that's maybe a little bit more dark chocolate, maybe a little bit more coffee, don't apply here. Um, if you're looking for more of a sweet kind of stout, that rum characteristic really adds in a bit of that sweet flavor. So you get a lot of that sweetness kind of up front. And then on the finish is where all that smokiness, all the chocolate notes, uh, all the, you know, roasty, malty kind of flavors come through. And like I said at the beginning, when I took that first drink, I said, wow, really boozy. But now as I'm kind of drinking it, you know, letting it settle, kind of taking drinks of it, drinks and drinks and a little bit more drinks, I'm not getting so much of that boozy character. You get a lot of that rum flavor up front, but that's where all that booziness lies on the, on the finish. It's very smooth. It, it's very smoky, very, but, and very roasty, but also very smooth. So it's not like you... It doesn't taste like a big booze bomb after the, maybe the first big drink that I got. And yeah, I think the, the Always Sunny guys would be really proud of this beer because, well, you know, it lives up to the name, but it also is just a really good beer overall. They're, they're do, totally, you know, they're not, uh, they're not selling Always Sunny short, so they're, they're doing a really good job representing that, and I can see, you know, how it would be inspired. I'm going to make little notes in the, in the comments below. I'm going to let this one warm up a little bit longer than I normally would for a review, and I'll let you know if more of those kind of ham characteristics come through or if I notice anything, any changes. I'm trying to take little notes on after the tasting and putting those in the comments myself because, you know, I can only say so much on these videos. Uh, I can't roll indefinitely, but I do sometimes pick up on other things, so I'll, I'll talk about in the, that in the comments uh, below this video. All right, friends, that has been Rum Ham from Oddside Ales in Grand Haven. Have you had this one? Are there any rum barrel aged beers that you think are worth a shot? Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell. I'm here talking about beer twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Occasionally I throw in these little beer briefs uh, and you never know when they're going to come out. And you will definitely never know if you're not getting notifications or if you're not subscribed and getting all that good stuff that goes along with it. 
So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself. A little Draft Therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.